I was just thinking like the uh the especially the do you think that the Middle East has a like a sustainable future? Because I just see them like spending all their oil money on extremely wasteful things. Mm. Like like cut like Qatar, Saudi, they just like really just going through all that money on these like thinking that this will boost their you know tourism economy for, for the future, but I just don't think that's gonna ever gonna happen. Mm. Even even like uh even Dubai, like it's there's not not nothing really there. It's just only reason it's to, it's functional is because they have a very low tax rate. So I was, do you guys think that the Middle East as a region will be able to survive in in like two three decades when there's like no oil? Money Define survive. Survive in the sense uh, the 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 kind of uh, standard of living they have right now. Huh. Okay. If, 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 okay. Okay. I I, think, I see I see I think them they'll... like. Yeah, go ahead. I'm, okay, I, I was going to say, I, I think there'll definitely have to be some massive changes. I think some of the biggest changes uh, will be more liberalism, more democracy, more uh, capitalist type focus. I think all of those things, not not in, not, you know, 100% liberal, not 100% democracy, 100%. There's, there's safeguards on all of those that need to be put in place and, you know, regulations and stuff. Um, when it comes to shifting from kind of those old markets of money to the new markets of money. Uh, for the vast majority of places around the world, it hasn't been too terribly difficult. And one of the reasons is because the system that we kind of participate in on a global level when it comes to finance, if you already have a bunch of cap capital in, in your pocket, you're able to do a lot more stuff easier than other people. So for instance, the Rockefeller family in the United States made all of their money on oil. Did you know that the Rockefeller family is actually the number one investor in uh, green energy in the United States? And the reason is because they are the people that actually have the ability to make such large movements. So I, I think we will start seeing more of a focus uh, away from oil. They'll start putting that money into other things. But again, I think the most changes are going to come from politics and, and um, uh uh, finance in general in the sense of a more capitalist system so. well but but uh, let's be clear you're not talking about middle eastern countries as a whole you're talking about gulf arab countries specifically yeah yeah yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay it's there all right because if you're talking about middle eastern countries that's in, that includes Israel. yeah it's a lot yeah it's a lot more yeah it's yeah, yeah so go you okay so gulf arab countries specifically saudi arabia qatar, qatar yeah. the uae and bahrain Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So these these are different countries, and they have different policies. Right. So each one of their destiny has to be analyzed separately. Right. Sure. Um, and I think like the model with UAE and Qatar has a higher chance of working than Saudi Arabia. Uh -huh. Okay. So you have to because Qatar and UAE, especially like they're not just investing in big projects right they're doing a lot of other things as well again i'm not saying their model will work but they are trying many other things right like qatar is becoming like trying to figure out how to be a center for all things commerce and all three of them are actually like uh, the qatar uae and saudi arabia they're all trying to bringing you know it's not it's it's more than just flashy entertainment stuff and liberalization and big buildings, right? It's also more about um, spending so much money in trying to bring businesses to these 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 hubs so so much so that even though it's forced, even though they might be building things that are not useful, that are building things that are just flashy and doesn't make any sense for them to build, because of all that aggressive um investment and investment banks and accounting firms and construction firms but being there it turns in, in into a network hub of different businesses because they already have their offices there they already have a manpower there that it becomes a destination for doing business right with the low tax rates and everything and if you keep doing that for long enough then because it has been a business hub for a long time, it will just remain a business hub after they have run out of their oil money. So that's their philosophy. 
right? So you keep building giant buildings and other stuff, uh, or also make not just a poli- not just a business hub, but also a political hub. Like Qatar has successfully made it so that it's a arbiter be- be- between many different political groups. This is why they're very interested in like, like, oh, you guys have a problem? I like, hey, come here, come to Doha, and we'll like, like, uh, get get you guys like uh, negotiate, make you guys negotiate. They want to be the the go to t- guy that has a relationship with both Israel and Iran, right? With the United States and the Taliban. Right, so that you have to go to them for negotiations, right? Um, many countries like doing that, right? Because then you need them. Um, so, in theoretically, that could work. I mean, right? it could work, it, yeah, only for uh, Qatar or UAE. But Saudi has such yes. a big population, you can't run okay. it on as a commercial, on just being a commercial or whatever, a business hub, right. So, okay, so, yeah, I agree that the UAE and mm-hmm. Qatar have a higher chance of making this work than the Sa- Saudi Arabia, okay? Yeah. So it can work in theory, but what matters is not the theory. What matters is the execution, mm-hmm. right? And being effective at its execution, right? Yeah. And Qatar has so far shown to be good at its execution, right? Saudi Arabia seems to be throwing shit at the wall and see if it sticks. And they just like doing, they're not, they don't seem to be very smart, being smart at it. Right. Like Mm -hmm. one example of it is the line. I don't know if you've seen the city that they're trying to build in the middle of the desert called the line. Have you guys seen that? Yeah, I've seen it. (laughs) It just, it just seems like a, um, like a, a, a kid's understanding of how things work. Like, I don't know. Here, let me actually show you guys. So Saudi Arabia is spending $1 trillion, okay? Okay? Over building this city that is literally a line. Look at this. Secretary. That's it's a literal, insane. Right? So it lo- it's going to look like how, this. How long is this? How, how like far across is this? Like, I don't know. Like... It's going to go across their whole country is, is what it Look, looks like. They started already. You can see the construction is oh started. Oh, my gosh. Right? But it's like a giant mirror in the middle of the desert. And okay. It's like a really- that's dumb, right? Yeah. Like, that's dumb. Putting a giant what? mirror on the edge of a coast that's just going to reflect a bunch of light onto various ships that is going to cause them problems in, with navigation. Okay. I, I mean, dumb. I don't know uh, much about architecture. But I think that is dumb. Okay. I would agree. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I'm not an architect either. But how, how, okay. So I would imagine like I'll make a city like in a circle rather than a line. Things just get so yeah. far away. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it would be cramped. You, you would have such congestion because people wouldn't have the ability to. Wait. Oh my gosh. This just seems so, really stupid. Well, I mean, we could we could uh, watch. Uh, Not to mention the amount of glass required to make those like tall glass things. <laughs> it's just insane. Yeah, let's watch this together. <laughs> okay, just just real yeah. quick. I, I I typed into Google Saudi Arabia uh, and then in quotes the line. And one of the first things that come up is most asked questions: Is the line Saudi Arabia real? People apparently. Are not believing that it is it is a serious venture, but they no they... yeah I mean I've listened to a lot of architectures on YouTube and they're like they're like pulling their hair out over what this is supposed to it's, be it it really it just seems it it just seems like one of those moments where you know we see this really new engineering you know feat of technology or whatever and then you're just like oh it's just a toaster like why do we have I to don't... go through all this work for a toaster like just toast my bread you know. Okay, but let's um, let's watch. Let me yeah, know yeah, if you yeah, have audio. Let me let me know if you have idea. We did. For too long, humanity has existed within dysfunctional and polluted cities that ignore nature. Now, a revolution in civilization is taking place. Imagine a traditional city and consolidating its footprint, designing to protect and enhance nature. The line will be home to nine million residents and will be built with a footprint of just 34 square kilometers. And we are designing it to provide a healthier, more sustainable quality of life. The line's communities are organized in three dimensions. 
Residents have access to all their daily needs within five minute walk neighborhoods. And the line's infrastructure makes it possible to travel end to end in 20 minutes with no need for cars, resulting in zero carbon emissions. By leveraging AI technology, services are autonomous, saving you time and effort. Designed by world-leading architects, the line is 500 meters tall, 200 meters wide, 170 kilometers long, and housed within an elegant mirror glass facade. Intelligent solutions create efficiency and year-round temperate microclimate with natural ventilation. Energy and water supplies are 100% renewable. The line is designed as a series of unique communities, offering a wealth of amenities, providing equitable views and immediate access to the surrounding nature. With 40% of the world accessible within six hours at the heart of the globe's key trade routes, a place for commerce and communities to thrive like nothing on earth seen before. The Line, the city that delivers new wonders for the world. This, this to me is, is the marketing video <laughs> that one of those new like Silicon Valley tech companies puts out to like get investors. And then by the end of the video, you're kind of just like, wait, what, what does this company do again? Are they building stuff? Are they coding? What are they, how are they doing any of this? You know, not to mention they'll just, they'll just like put in a lot of those, uh, AI, robotics. I know. Renewable. <laughs> I know. I saw that. That was just like, wait, wait a second. Do you think that's all where those, we are? Like, do you all think those that's... headline grabbing, uh, you know, technology stuff. Is oh, this a bunch of mumbo jumbo? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. And and yeah. That's a really good question about the building of it. You know, how, how are you going to get all the workers? How, how are you going to? It's it's at hundred percent, hundred percent renewable water supply. How? What what are you gonna what are you gonna do what what's your plan like I get that you're not gonna go into depth here but like, there's yeah. a lot of videos on this um but wow. I, I I can't I get I've seen a lot of architects like this issuing a lot of warnings about this right um I, but this they, I don't yeah I don't know if this is gonna work or not okay but if it doesn't that's a lot of money that goes to a, towards a failed project. You know what I mean? I don't think it's like never this... going to get built, honestly. Like, okay, but that would be so it. embarrassing. This is like neo, the whole Neon project, like all the things that they're doing. If they fail, this could like bankrupt Saudi Arabia, yeah. right? Like they're like, oh, we're running out of oil money. Let's do something that could make us money. And this other thing that they're doing, it could actually bankrupt them faster because they're just throwing so much money at it. Okay. Wow. I don't. I don't know if this stuff is going to work, but Saudi Arabia seems to be like eager to just risk so much, you know, like, yeah. so it's, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So and it just really I, seems, it just really seems like they're, they're, you know, I mean, look, you got to be bold if you want to change the course of human history, but at the same time, like, you know, nobody remembers the millions that failed. Right. And even, even if this failed. works, it's not, it's not, it doesn't make sense for Saudi Arabia. The problem with Saudi Arabia is it's, it has zero, like, it's not food secure. They can't grow their own right. food. They don't have other resources. They won't, the only resource they have is oil. So if they run out of oil yeah, money. But that, yeah, they're trying to, okay, they know they're going to run out of oil money. So what they're trying to do is just bring so much business to Saudi Arabia with the oil money so that when they run out of oil money, they're or the businesses are already there. So they're just not going to go and they're going to pay taxes and bring investments and that's going to they're going to try to be sustainable on that right what? Why so they're like it? they're like it has to be so flashy and so crazy that just we spend so much money that there's just too much money to be made in saudi arabia for them to ignore us that's what they're saying are they, that's are, what they are, is the saudi arabian government assuming that that people are going to move from other cities in, in, oh in yeah, they already said Saudi that Arabia. this is gonna. In yeah, the this is gonna, desert. They, I mean, okay, I mean, the middle of desert. They don't. You don't really care if it's the middle of desert. I mean, the UAE is the middle of desert, so it's not a bad place to live. UAE, right? For at least for the people who are good, rich, right? But they think, okay, so I'm not. Um, the understanding is that they're gonna have different laws for these neon projects. Like, there's not gonna be Sharia, 
Like you're gonna no have... way, no yeah, yeah, yeah. freaking way. So they're gonna have they're gonna have this this yeah. freaking wall of a city, this road of a city that doesn't <laughs> adhere to the laws that the entire rest of the country adheres yeah. to. Like so, what you're gonna have your entire population of your country move to this freaking place that you're only expecting? No, no, million? no, just no, 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 no. There's gonna be poor people who are, right like outside of the city. And oh yeah, <laughs> well, not, but, not, not well, nine. Of well, course not. They're not gonna goodness. let the peasants. They're not gonna let the peasants inside the city. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god imagine oh the inside god. becomes like a total greenhouse <laughs> and it's, just, it's, it's, that, that really yeah. is a, that, that is crazy everything. that is a but, crazy thought to me i i the, i wow yeah also like okay hold wow. on um also it's very bad like they they keep acting like this is amazing for wildlife uh for uh, wildlife but it's actually not um it's it'd be disrupting it's, a lot no it's like it's a it's a literal line uh that is going to wait that's not a good video of it here mm -hmm. let me actually put this one they're actually building it look they actually started building it it's a it's gonna cut migration of desert animals by yeah. you know because there's no way to pass it one one sure. two the mirror is going to be hot. It's going to literally like fry anything that gets yes. close to it. <laughs> yes. I guess. Right. right. I mean, yeah. And, and <laughs> also, and this is something that we do all the time. We build these massive structures on earth and then just go like, well, at least we didn't cut down a whole forest. And then, you know, two years later, we come to find out that that causes massive flooding in another part. Cause that's what happens when you disrupt such a large section of the of the environment like this like that's a huge wall that they're just putting up in the middle of i mean that's going to change you know air circulation that's going to change a lot of different how are you going to clean that that how are you going to clean that mirror oh my god they're going to be there are people that would literally 24 7 would have to be cleaning that <laughs> i mean you would just have to have people constantly hanging from the side washing the windows i, I <laughs> tell you what crazy. they'll say they'll say ai robotics is going to do everything Oh my <laughs> God! Sure, yeah, uh, yeah. There's don't a reason. Buddy. Yeah, we don't have AI cars figured out or AI drones figured out, but somehow this whole freaking city is gonna run off of. Yeah. Okay. Man, holy crap, man! Seriously, this is this is. I, I I'm intrigued by this. Really, this is is fascinating to me. I think it's a really bad idea. I know the Saudi Arabian government doesn't often take my advice. Uh, on major building projects, but uh, yeah, I would say don't do it. That's that's. Look at look at this. This is not. This is. That just seems you know, like. Yeah. Oh, another okay. Another main problem with this is that the other cities, right? You don't have. You don't usually have like all the fundings needed to build a city, right? right. You start somewhere and then mm -hmm. other people come in and invest like you start like the initial phases of a city right mm -hmm. that is functional on its own right even though it's the whole thing is not complete and because it's functioning more business and more investments follow mm -hmm. that fund the rest of the expansion of the city right but this city like how does that work like you have to build the whole thing or or, or can you start with like some of the line oh and some of it's even going over a little section of water it looks like like oh, right wow. there near the end like this is a huge this is insane <laughs> honestly that's insane. just insane <laughs> this no, is but, like we, do, we don't have we don't have anything like this ever right so we don't know if this is going to work and for you to put like so much money on something that we don't have like a model for before like yeah. this is a huge risk with your country's money yeah quite a you massive know? risk yeah yeah just that alone just just that alone of of you know uh, lands do, doing enough landscaping that you can actually make stuff level enough like that alone is is a project that is is so massive of an undertaking getting getting the supplies out to some of those places initially I mean, holy crap man this uh, it really does make me happy i mean it, it, it's probably just because i'm expecting it to to not really work well but either way it's going to be amazing crap. okay so because <laughs> if it if it doesn't if this fails Good right point. we're going to be like 
this is going to be amazing for us to watch this whole thing crash and burn. I'm like, it's going to be amazing. Like, it's going to, it's going to be such an embarrassment for the Saudi regime, and it's going to be beautiful for us to watch it, right? So, but so that's going to be fun to watch if it fails. Yeah. But if it doesn't fail, that's also amazing, right? I Either we're gonna okay, see like there's fucking, no like, way like, that's happening. Thing. Okay, it's not okay. Gonna happen. I don't know. I know. I know. But like, we win either way because we either gonna get a freaking line of a city, right? Which is amazing. Okay, or we're gonna see the failure of the Saudi regime. Either way, we're gonna come out winning from this. So I'm seeing. <laughs> I'm seeing the three of us. 20 years from now all getting back together and just being like man we called that one wrong you guys <laughs> like we're all living in these line cities now around the world <laughs> ai is washing our windows all the time like boy did we call that one wrong like yeah I know. imagine you have to meet someone in the center of that line you have, to, <laughs> you have to travel like at the edge of the line and then travel inside for like i guess what 80 kilometers just to meet someone it, it's it's insanity wow it's literally insanity okay so know. secular sakai is saying that like we have to think about the economic refugee crisis okay honestly good point. good point however the saudi regime has been responsible for more refugees um yeah. i mean this country losing its influence around the world wow. will be a benefit to the planet so i understand that we need to be worried about and care about the saudi citizens and what come what happens to them right but that's important but at the same time like we we celebrate putin's regime's um economic you know economically uh, failing because even though we're sad about the russian people we understand the harm that the that the russian government is doing is so much to the world yeah. that unfortunately you know the benefits from them losing that economic power is more than the harm to the pe russian people like it's unfortunate but that's how things are right um so i i feel the same thing about the saudi government like if they yeah, but, fail like yeah go on yeah but at least like russia like food secure and stuff saudi arabia if they can't sell anything to the outside world they don't have any food to grow like people will literally stop that's the problem you need to if you, if you don't have your own resources to feed yourself, you need to be able to sell things. I don't to the think they're going to fail. I'm, I think there will be like, they, I don't think they're going to fail to that extent. I think like they have mm. enough businesses to keep like, well, so you know, the, but, the, make, but the business has nice to be really, like selling stuff outside to be able to import. No, they, can, they have services. Like you have enough, you have, and that's the whole point of what they're doing. They're trying to make it such a center of business activity that there's enough uh, buildings and uh, headquarters of major companies that you, their citizens are just going working there and providing services right you don't have to actually build stuff to be economic viable mm, that like, can work you know, but then yeah. you need to then invest in your people to be educated so that they can that's what they're trying to that's what they're I, that's what i that's why i wish that they were focusing on education like imagine yeah. all this money that they're spending right now like they could have spent it on some other things that would lead into i i don't know like um yes yeah, i agree education is education is the key thing i mean they they are investing in education to be fair to them like i'm not trying to be um they have they know they understand the importance of education and they are investing in that right but again this is a major gamble right if this fails that's a lot of money that you could have yeah. been investing in better things yeah. and i i um, and a huge a huge yeah. amount of time and and a huge yeah. amount of your population probably that's going to be because again like you're going to have to have that type of project is going to have thousands right. and thousands of people working on it for years it even like, even if it's successful which i doubt right it was a massive gamble because yeah. the chances of it failing was huge right and i yeah. i suspect that the people mm -hmm. who are advising mbs kind of know that this is like probably gonna fail okay imagine like, the, but, the amount of but they're just on that. hold on i'm not finished um right, yeah. but i just think like don't forget that thought i just think that there's just too much money to be made by a lot of people for you to tell him like this is a bad idea like imagine if you're like oh yeah this is a project that is going to give me i don't know 10 million dollars it's going to give you 20 million dollars it's going to give that guy 30 million dollars 
are you going to tell MBS that this is a bad idea when you're making so much money out of this project? Like, yeah. I think he's surrounded by so many, like, pe- you're throwing money around. So, obviously, people are going to be like, yeah, this is such a great idea. PK, you want to say something about the wind? Yeah, yeah just one thing. If, if there's, like, a yeah. windstorm, like a desert windstorm there, the amount of force on that thing would be enormous. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. actually very good. Because, sure. you know, this thing this thing is supposed to be taller than the Eiffel Tower, right? Yeah. I, you know, if you go into the Eiffel Tower... When I was there, there's a device there that shows how much the winds swings the Eiffel Tower, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the Eiffel Tower is not even like a wall, like it has holes in it that wind can go through. And it still swings a lot because of the yeah. wind. And this whole thing is taller than the Eiffel Tower. Wow. And it's a wall that just goes forever. I don't know. How is it supposed to yeah. resist? It's a mirror. How is it supposed yeah. to resist the wind? I yeah. don't know. Again, and just the the truly the ecological the ecological ramifications like there's just no way that you can do a full accounting of that because we don't have anything like this that we can we can look back to and say like oh yeah this is how it happened when they did this back in the 1200s you know no so like no matter what calculation they're doing like you could argue okay all of this stuff we have in place is going to you know on average make less pollution than the city but you don't know what putting that large of a structure like that a- across this section of, of, of your, your land. Like, oh my gosh, this is it's really, I get, I am deeply interested in this now, but holy shit, I think yeah. it's a bad idea. <laughs> Another reason why you could, you would be justified to think that this was probably a really bad idea is that history of Saudi Arabia's government with them being attracted by shiny things that look mm. real. oh my god look at this mm. here's all my money right and then mm. it's not working so they have a history of this like they yeah. so given their history this might be one of those other projects that were like oh shiny here's a lot of money and oh the country just went bankrupt i don't know we'll see we'll see wow. um wow. i don't know this is this seems like a really bad idea but. yeah all right, um, PK, do you, do you want to add anything else? So this is what I was, the whole point was you are asking whether this could work or not work, this model, uh, to get off, to diversify away from fossil fuels. Yeah. Again, in theory, I think it could work. Execution, there's a smart way of doing this and a dumb way of doing this. And it seems like some of them are smarter about it than the other ones. Like, so. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you cannot come yeah. up with an answer for all of them. I do think... I do think the Keteris are sm- doing this a lot more intelligently than yeah. the Saudis. Yeah. So we'll see though. I don't know. I, I I think they're not. Only thing I think the saving grace for Qataris is that there's like no one, no Qatari citizens. Mm-hmm. There's like just a few hundred thousand. Even if everything fails, they can just, they have enough money for those few hundred thousand people. But for Saudis, like they'll have like a hundred million population. <laughs> I mean, no amount of business attraction. I mean, the, can, Qatari, can... the Qataris have done very a good job in not getting into wars, in having good relationships with everybody. In you know, I mean, they have played it smart so far. I don't know what have they what did, what have the Qataris done wrong, in your opinion? I mean, the the amount of money they spent on the like the football as a as a just the. Like I think this is spending like trillions. I think the, the amount they actually say that they're spending is far less than what they've been not only on the World Cup but also like on all the European football teams. They have been just bleeding money into PSG. So PSG is like a. They fun. have, but the like the Qatar the Qatar is the money that they're spending is relative to the budget that they have, funding that they have. They have the money for it. Like Saudi sometimes spends money. If, uh, even proportionally relative to the budget that they have is like on even based on their sand, Saudi uh, standards is extremely high. You know what I mean? Uh, but Qatar is like, they did like, if, if you look at how much they have um, and what they get out of it when it comes to soft power, it's not, it wasn't unreasonable. I mean, they spent more than everyone else, but they have the cash for it. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it... We'll, we'll see. I mean, <laughs> I mean they I have su- they have such a surplus, and they need to spend it on increasing their reputation on soft power. Like football seems to be 
like where else would they put it like it it made like it seemed like a logical place to put their money in get my best selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description